Welcome. What you're about to watch is a section of my course, uh, Building a Practice of Productivity, because the truth is, if you have a good process, that process will span different tools. You don't need a special tool to have a good process, to have a good productivity system. So that's what that course is about, all about building a good practice of productivity and not necessarily relying on a specific tool to enforce it on you because you're gonna take your bad process to the next tool anyways. Anyways, if you're interested in that course, you can go to curtismichael.ca slash education where you can take it uh, or you can become a member and get all of my courses included in your membership. curtismichael.ca slash membership. Buckle up. Let's look at how to choose a task manager well. Now let's talk specifically about choosing the right task manager and some of the things that I think are important when you look at choosing the task manager that should go on your short list. So first off is easy task entry. If it is hard to get your tasks in, you simply won't do it. So something that Things 3 and most task managers I've ever looked at does is it lets me tie a keyboard command on my Mac to enter a task easily. I use, I think it's command option space. I don't even think about it anymore. I've used it for so long for any task manager I've ever had on my system. It also integrates very well with my phone and with my iPad to share things into it with the iOS share sheet or to share it via shortcuts if I want to build a project. Uh, and now with the latest update to Mac OS, iPad OS and everything, it actually shares my shortcuts across everything. So I really like how easy that is. But if you are not on, you know, an Apple a device for some of your work, then it's just not easy because there's no web interface either. Something like Todoist or TickTick, which is cross-platform and has easy task entry and has some automation will be a better choice for you. Next up. How does it support overall organization? As I've said, uh, Things 3 has kind of three levels of uh, organization. It has the area. So I have, oh, like admin or business areas in there. And then it has projects in there where I can put a single client and then it has individual tasks. And then even below that, there's a checklist on each individual task if I want that. So what type of organization do you need? I would say starting out by breaking it up into work and personal is probably a good thing. Um, and then be light on the rest of your areas, your rest of your main uh, organizational things, because it's far too easy to divide it way too deep. And then you're like, I don't know if this goes in this little bit or this little area over here, because the slice between them is so narrow, you're just never going to be able to decide most of the time. If you really can't decide if it goes in one area or the other, then you probably have it sliced too thin and you need to back off your deep nested uh, organizational structure. Next up, task filtering. Um, or context filtering, depending on what tool you're using. So I have one called errands, a tag called errands in Things 3, and that lets me, just when I'm out on errands, I can just tap the errands tag and say, well, is there anything else I wanna do? And I can make all the errands in one shot. Uh, that would be context filtering in um, OmniFocus, or tag filtering other places, right? Todoist does this as well, Tick Tick does this as well, so I can look across multiple projects and find any other errands and just batch process all of these things in one shot. That's an important feature. Next, calendar support. Do you really need it? Um, so Things 3 has, I would say, minor calendar support. I think Tick Tick uh, Todoist has better calendar support. Uh, Tick Tick especially. It lets you drag tasks out into your weekly calendar and really plan them well. So you need to look at, do you need it? And how will you actually use it? Uh, I keep turning it on in Things 3, and I never really use it in Things 3, but I did use it when I used Tick Tick. It was much better there. Finally, what about your project review? Does there have any special review features? I know OmniFocus, OmniFocus is excellent. Even if you're on Windows, looking at the OmniFocus review system, finding a video on that is just, you'll be impressed with how useful it can be. Um, otherwise, you have to dig through every project all the time. You have to actually review them manually, whereas OmniFocus lets you set like review intervals. Maybe I don't need to review this project for a month or for two months. But doing your weekly review and if there's any special features for that is just something to add to your list. This is a nice to have feature. You don't need it because you can manually go through everything, but it is still nice to have sometimes. Let's come up with four recommendations of good options for task managers. Number one is Todoist. It has multiple views. It has a Kanban view. It has a list view. It has multi-platform and it does collaboration. I am currently using that to manage a moving project with my wife because we can both add tasks in and out of it and we can see the views we want to see and it's easy for collaboration between the two of us. Next up, Tick Tick. Also a good one. Also does collaboration. Has multiple views. Has automation. Uh, it has okay automation on iOS via URL support, and you can do some of that on other platforms as well with their automation, which is in their documentation. I love the calendar view. That's probably one of my favorites, but it also does a Kanban view if you like that as well. And I do like a Kanban view for organizing content, um, which I do a lot. 
Things 3 is my current one of choice. Uh, it has the best keyboard support of any app I've ever seen on iPadOS, and I use iPadOS a lot. So I really like that feature of it. It has good automation support as you know, Mac OS, iPad OS, and everything updated recently. They took their shortcuts, which usually you had to do like if iPad or if phone and change things around. Now they're just all in one, and even on Mac OS, it's all set up on one. So they really do keep up with the development on that. Finally, Trello is also a really good option. It's a basic Kanban board. There are lots of plugins for it. You can use it for free almost all the time. Um, I've used it free lots of times, so I have really liked it for that. Uh, it's got quick entry on Mac OS, it's got quick entry on Windows, and it does okay with sharing into iPad OS, and the iPad OS or the uh, mobile apps have been very good in my opinion. Not, you know, the standout stellar things that Things 3 is, but still fairly good. Now let's move on and start talking about our other tools.